Now, with solo leveling Arise, one thing which I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build my Jinwu. This guy. Yeah, the main MC. I'm trying to build him up in a crit manner, um, in terms of artifacts and whatnot, of course. Um, purely because I'm really liking pretty much the dark weapon setup but more importantly the uh, katana sword in terms of the crit side of things and so i feel like for the most part a lot of people are putting their time into agility which completely makes sense um it really is going to be strength agility and perception is what a lot of people are kind of focusing on of course and so one of the things that i'm trying to do which i'm struggling with as of right now is i'm trying to build him in that crit way so what i want to do is get my artifacts sorted out so that way i can support more for the crits through the artifacts so that way it opens up more for my stats and the reason why i'm mentioning all of this is because look solo leveling arise right now it's in the early access side of things right some people have decided to start the game a little bit early like myself and many others and truth be told yeah i've put money into this game i'm enjoying it i'm I, I'm, I'm enjoying creating content on it i'm loving the grind and i can't wait for the global release and i can't wait for the future of this game because it looks good. I mean, yes, there's a few things that they, they need to kind of touch up on before global release, but if they do so, then we've got something great on our hands. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning all of this, the reason why I'm mentioning about Jim Wu's build, is because we might have just found the perfect build. AKA, we might have just found probably the biggest, if not the biggest, the biggest, if not the, basically the number one way. So a huge shout out to Nato, of course. Um, I came across her channel because I, I, I saw, uh, it was on my recommendation. She was doing like over 1,000 summoning tickets and I'm just like, yeah, I'm watching that. I want to see what's being pulled here. So yeah, pretty much um, I, I do recommend you. I mean, I'll leave her um, channel link down below. Check her out, subscribe, show some love. Um, she does amazing uh, videos in terms of explaining things when it comes to certain fights to certain bosses which will give you the upper hand in, in actually doing these fights a lot more easier right and all that good stuff so highly highly recommend you guys check her out of course but she did an account review and she I, I wasn't okay so i knew she was kind of cracked out in terms of having a stacked account but i wasn't expecting none of this so this is a true whale insane the weapons are maxed out look at the stats so what she's got going on with her weaponry to her stats is kind of what i'm trying to replicate is what i'm trying to do so obviously by having the weapons maxed out and whatnot that does help out her perception by getting it i think she gets like an additional four thousand i want to say maybe so that's kind of helping the stats out so that way it does ease up uh, to the amount that she needs to put into the stats so th I mean th there's that to factor in about obviously maxing for you things out now I'm not gonna play the whole video if you guys do want to watch the whole video which I highly suggest you do again I'll link all of that down below but we'll just go through certain things just to give you guys an idea on well th this is personally my perfect build for Jinwu I know others will want to build Jinwu in, in a different manner which is completely fine but I think as of right now majority are trying to go down that line of the whole crit when it comes to Jinwu and so if you can cater to where the crit buffs are coming from the weapon or well, not the weapon well yes the weapons because the katana you know but from the artifacts then it eats up on the stat side of things where you can just go full on strength and then obviously you know with the artifacts giving you the crit and then your stats giving you the strength put that together you're doing high amount of damage clearly um so that's uh, something to take note of, of course uh what she's also doing so obviously this is um so the the artifacts that she's running Oh my god, I'm looking at that crit hit rate and crit hit damage. I'm just like, god damn, this is what I need. This is what I want. <laughs> so she's got some good artifacts on. But um, I also spoke about this um, in, in my video previously, not previously, but a while back. When it comes to the position, um, I did say that, you know, once you get to that level 40 mark, you might want to cater to this. So at bare minimum, she's keeping it to 90 for, you know, the, the, the bare minimum damage to bosses, of course. So that's kind of where you want precision. You want you don't want precision lower than 90. Keep it 90. If you can get to 99, get to 99. But she's hitting the bare uh, line of being 90. So fair play on her on that one. And this is the crit build. If you guys didn't know, this this is this is pretty much what I'm trying to. I'm telling you, my luck is horrible. I've got amazing boots, trash hands. I've got a solid um, top. Uh, and then I've got nothing for that. So basically, I need hands and um, head. But 
yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly having good luck <laughs> with RNG right now, especially with certain substats. But this is essentially the, 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 the crit side of building Jinwoo, if you wanted to, of course. So yeah, uh, it seems that HP is being catered to, but I'm pretty sure she's got one... So she's got water damage there. I would... Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. I thought it would have been... Oh, well, then again, you got to be <laughs> get lucky with RNG. This is insane to me, bro. Plus three on attack, HP, and then crit rate. This is a godsend of luck. To, to get boosts like that, obviously when you do uh, awaken your weapons, obviously it's, it's random, like one of these fours will get randomly buffed. To have all four go towards, well three of them go to attack and one that go to crit hit rate, that is insane to me. Like, how lucky do you have to be? Obviously when gear substat reroll comes into place, um, that will help us out to find the perfect gear and then from that point we just got to get lucky in, in leveling up. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of what, what we're working with uh, in terms of the build for Jim Wu. So... Yeah, if, 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 if that's something that you're catering to, like myself, if that's something that you're interested in, especially with the dark weapons, of course. I mean, as long as you're using the katana, obviously that second slot weapon could be whatever you want, but um, if you can cater to benefit in the crit hit rate and the crit hit damage through the artifacts, then yeah, th th then your stats basically, it's, it's, it's a big open play for it. I mean, realistically, if you want to furthermore, you can actually put a little bit into agility, but the fact that she went all into strength, that is cracked <laughs> that is absolutely insane furthermore as this is a uh, a whale account seeing this makes my wallet and my bank just cry like tears of river like god damn like, i mean here's the thing right now in order to summon you have to go for that regular banner and to see maxed out characters fair play to her fair play to her so that is insane to see including the weapon his Choi's weapon is ma well. Then again, if you're gonna if you're gonna max out Choi, then I do assume the amount of dices you get should give you more than enough to max out his weapon. So, yeah, I can I, I cannot imagine on the amount that has gone into this. But fair play. Um, so she does show off some of the builds for some of the hunters, of course. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much uh, what I'm rocking with right now, of course. So fair play on that. I'm surprised on why she actually kept. The attack, because of course with um, Choi himself, once you max him out to plus five, um, you can also run the ultimate set. I, I, I assume she's got an ultimate set at the ready, but um, yeah, I mean this is also perfectly viable, so that, that's completely fine too. Um, but uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, so this is this is one of the builds which I was very kind of um, interest, well, surprised in, because I know the HP, the running double HP is fine, but. The fact that she's gone given the full set, uh, you know, that, that's kind of intriguing to me. Because obviously with myself, I've got the break full set, which works just as fine because she's a break, you know, of course. Um, yeah, that's fine to me. And then, yep, I've got the exact, yeah, so I've got the same build here. Um, I know that a lot of people are leaning towards the, the attacking side of her, like the lean. Because of course, um, Libora, you can use her in the in, in, in attacking manner, but... I've got her in that power to uh, Atlas engage side of things. Um, yep, yep. Same build for the healer. Same build for the healer. Uh, this isn't. I mean, yeah. So Ji Wu, this is another unit that I'm, I want to look into because she holds a ton of power crit wise. Um, fun, fun fact. Yeah, she, she she is a crit unit. So I've got shield on her in terms of to provide me with more shield. But I'm probably going to give the shield to Kim and then I'm, I'm going to see about... Well, if I get lucky, because again, there's three characters now that I want to build crit. Jinwoo, Chayen, and now Ju um, Jiwoo, of course. So, uh, a, lot, a lot of crit to invest in, of course. So, there's that. Um, yeah, there's that break damage uh, for Yonho, of course. So, that's 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 perfectly understandable. Um, but yeah, that, I mean, again, I'll leave it there. Um, I mean, she does go through her weapons. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. I am so glad that we are not on the same server. <laughs> oh, that's a blessing. Thank God. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, there is a whale, and she is killing it. Absolutely killing. It. That being said, actually, let's see how much solo leveling he's made so far. Hold on. Let, let, let's have a look. Okay, so low leveling. Let's see. So low leveling arise. Damn. <laughs> Well, it's not bad. Fair enough. For an early access or soft launch being available in Thailand and Canada, half a mil 
That ain't bad. Well, we know where most of it is coming from, let's be honest. <laughs> um, damn. Okay, Canada. What's, what's this? UK. Bro, that's me. I'm representing. I'm joking. I haven't spent that much, but like, <laughs> I'm, I, I assume there's a few of us from the UK representing. Fair play. What the frick? <laughs> they must be like, how much money have we made so far? You know, with the, with the soft launch. Okay. okay. UK. We're not doing a soft launch in the UK. Oh, God. Account gets banned. Boom. Now nah, I'm only kidding. But yeah, an insane account an awesome account thank god i'm not in the same server and again just to clarify for the global players that are probably looking into all of this um obviously when you start your global accounts when it go when the game goes global you guys will have your own servers however we can still interact with each other through guilds and all that good stuff whenever they add that in but when it comes to your own sub servers you won't have to um, fight with anyone who's been playing the soft launch or the early access version you're going to be fighting with brand new people starting the game fresh just as you so so when you see myself and others and nato of course you know you don't have to worry about us <laughs> um but yeah that's pretty much the end of it boys there you go that is uh that's a whale account god damn